everybody, my name is Laura and for today I'm going to be showing you how I made this dress. So I made this the other day and honestly I didn't come up with it by myself, it was inspired by a friend. Um, but it was super, super easy to make and I feel like amazing in it. So it has a cowl neck, it's got a halter top and it's backless and I just like feel awesome in it. This thing is super comfy, I made it out of like jersey knit so it's like the same thing as like a maxi dresses or whatever, and it's just awesome. So I made this dress for $2 and about a half an hour time, and that's even like just figuring everything out. Super easy, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So, what you need is a rectangle, or a square, depends on your body type. But you need a piece of fabric that goes from your chin down to your knees. That's exactly what this dress was, you can see underneath a little scarf here and it also needs to be able to fit around the widest part of your body. Now not if it's up here, only down here because you just need your skirt to be able to do up the back here. So it should be the same width as you are around and as tall from your chin down to your knees. So take your piece of fabric, just like this, hangs directly down to your knees and fold it in half. So now it's folded in half and now place it like a skirt. So the bottom half that's touching your skin is going to be your skirt. Okay, so place it up to you, make it in line with your knees like where you had the length before, wrap it around you, and see where this middle point goes to. This is going to be the division of your skirt to this top layer here which is going to be your top. So remember where that is. For me it's about one inch below my belly button. So take your skirt off and fold it inwards like this so that the top of your the top half like the shirt is on the inside and the skirt is now this material on the outside so you should have one top corner here where all of the folds are and that's going to go right here on your body and then down here you've got all of these little open flaps there so now you need to just put this down and you need to measure yourself so what you do need to do is measure yourself right where that band was, the division between the skirt and the shirt. So for me, I'm 26 inches around there, and then you need to do the widest part, so which is around like, you know, your hips, your butt, wherever you're the biggest. Um, so I'm 31 inches around there. And then in between them, I'm 8 inches in between here and here. So then I go back to my fabric, and now because my fabric is folded in half, and I already have the center point here, conveniently, I'm going to half those width measures around me. So my first width, my waist, which is thir going to be 13 inches, is a top. So I'm going to measure 13 inches from this little point here, here, out to here. And I'm going to put a little marker. And then I'm going to go down 8 inches, and I'm going to measure out my 15 inches. And that should theoretically take you out to the edge of your fabric since you've already cut this fabric to be the width around you it is. So now you've got a little square and it should have a triangle cut out of the top here. Not cut, just pinned. And only pinned through the top layer of the skirt. Or if you use like a little piece of chalk or something, you can draw on it too. So then, open up your dress or your piece of material. Okay, and now find your top to your bottom and fold it in half this way. So now you've got a piece up by your chin going down to your knees, and you've got your little markers, say, right around here on one side. Okay, and so then get your piece of fabric nice and even, fold it correctly. This is like just a scarf, so it's probably not going to do it correctly for me. Either way, you guys understand. Get these two lines meeting up perfectly, and then go and sew the line that you just moved, that you just made. So you probably have, you know, I'm going to have a triangle, a little thing going like this. So I'm going to start here. So down like this, across, and then I'm going to sew down. So right here, don't make like a hard line there. You need to give a curve or else that's going to go right here and you're going to have a little point in your bum there. You need to give yourself a nice little feminine curve there when you're sewing. And then, when that's done, you open it up, and this is what your dress is going to look like. You have just made a sew line that went here, down to here, you put this on, and now you've just got like a big nice loose top. And you can take that, tie it around your neck, and your dress can be complete right there if you want. That's it. Done. You've made yourself dress. So, but if you want, which I did, you want to do a little bit more. So I found that with that dress there was a little bit much hanging here and there was a little bit much out of my armpits. So, 
I put my dress down with my seam facing outside, like on this side here, and I went to the top and I scooped from about an inch in the top corner and I scooped down and I cut out a chunk. And that way, I don't have as much hanging here. So it goes a little bit lower, it was higher, but I like it, you know, and my boobs aren't gonna fall out the side here because I still have enough and it's baggy, so it's okay. And then I did the same for here. Had it folded down and I, from my little corner down here, like a little, little arc that went like this, all the way up and then back around to there. And that made it so it's just not so bulky here. And then I went and I sewed the edges around. But you don't have to do that, it's just up to you. And instead of tying it up, I sewed a little bud in there just to be pretty. So, but the only thing you have to do, get your rectangle, measure yourself here and here, and do a sew line and then throw it around your neck. So easy. There you go, that's it. And the rest of it is optional. So, um, if this was all done a little bit fast for you, I have written a blog post and it's going to be going on the Healthy Hose blog, which you can find at www.healthyhose.com. And I've gotten a written up blog there with pictures so that you can get something a little bit more in detail, like if you're a little bit unsure about some parts. It's made super easy there, so go check out that blog. Um, and let me know how this goes for you. Are you guys making the dress? How is it fitting you? Did you like the experience? What kind of patterns did you use? Send me your pictures. Um, like it, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys all next week. Bye!